Alright guys, who wants to listen to a story? Wow, really Nico? A you think story. we're little kids, don't you? A story. Come on, I'm being serious. I know you guys are as bored as hell. Come on, let's give it a shot. We are pretty bored, you know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, let's mm. do it. Come on. Yeah, might as well. Alright, go. Okay, cool. So my dad had just immigrated to Liberty City in an attempt to pursue the American dream. Finally, cousin, you're late. We should go now. Yo, do some of my feedback, I feel. What do you think about America, Nico? Tell me straight. You love it, no? I don't know, Roman. It is the same as any other place, only louder. People don't know how to shut up here. I bet you would like to teach them, wouldn't you, cousin? But you can't. Or at least you can't teach everyone. Really, you don't like it? The lights, the titties, the food, the opportunities? Come on, Nico, it, it's kind of incredible. It's stupid. Everything is just advertising with nothing to back it up. They tell you you're eating the best burger ever. And you believe it until you're sweating out all the chemicals in it and the hormones are making your balls feel funny. My balls feel fine, but uh, I did notice my man tits getting larger when I was eating a cluck and bell every day. Everything else is fake too. The titties aren't real and the opportunities aren't opportunities at all. Alright, so Roman's your dad's cousin? And why didn't your dad like America? Like, seriously. <laughs> Come on. Well... Roman promised my dad fast cars, fancy houses, and money. But when he got there, it wasn't really like that. Oh man, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's... that's a fail. <laughs> oh, I mean, your dad shouldn't have trusted that Roman guy. <laughs> alright, alright, let me get on with the story. So my dad and Roman decided to get a little drunk at the local bar. Nico, this is just the place. I hear it is filled with girls with low self-esteem. Maybe a bit too drunk. We need to get home. Quick! Are you throwing up? Driving in this state? Not a good idea. If you know what I mean. With six different attachments. You Are you throwing up, Roman? I'll throw up on you! If you give me any more lip and be. No, I need to play some bets. I'm feeling lucky. Wonderful dollars to collect from stupid chumps who can't pick a winner from a loser. Bad hand from a good one. If I was a betting man, Roman, which I'm not, I would bet against you in this state. Always the pessimist, cousin. Always hating on me. You'll see. You'll see. I'll see something. Baby, I don't want to hurt nobody, but there is something that I What happened? Turn out the lights. Alright, so they broke the law once or twice. I mean, it's not as bad as killing someone, right? I don't see Man, that did not happen. Sadly, it did happen. Suddenly, the cops started shooting, and my dad had no choice but to flee the scene. Fucking chill, man! Fuck! Now is it that bad to say that my dad killed two people? Sorry! Oh, did I say two? I meant three. Cousin, I'm getting out of hospital. You couldn't pick me up, could you? Sure, Roman. I'll come get you in the next town. Thanks, Nico. See you then. 
Whoa, 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 back up. How did Roman end up in the hospital? Well, Roman drank a bit too much. He had to be hospitalized. As my dad was taking the cab to the hospital, he thought about what he would say to Roman about that night. The fact that he didn't mention a thing about it on the phone made him somewhat angry and confused. After that night, both men knew that they had changed for the worst. There he was right there. What would he say? It was the moment of truth. Nico, get your invalid cousin in a car. He cannot walk in this state. To this day, I don't know where he got that car from. I mean, I hope he didn't steal it. That's all I hope. Thank you for picking me up, cousin. Will you take me home? It's good to hang out again, Nico. How you doing, man? Fantastic. Look at my life. I have stumbled from one disaster to another, and now I am here, and it is another disaster. Yeah, good point. Roman acted as if nothing happened last night. The truth was we were known fugitives, and everything we did was going to be judged. You are kind for giving me a lift, Nico. Call your sick cousin soon, okay? And that was the last time I saw him. For a while though.